Welcome to today's lecture on uveitis, the inflammation of the uveal tract in the eye. We will explore its anatomy, causes, diagnosis, and treatment in detail. Let's begin our journey into this fascinating field. The anatomy and physiology of the uveal tract are crucial for understanding uveitis. The iris, ciliary body, and choroid all have specific functions that contribute to normal vision. Inflammation in any of these components can lead to uveitis. Anterior uveitis is a common type of eye inflammation affecting the iris and ciliary body. It causes redness, pain, and sensitivity to light. Diagnosis involves a comprehensive eye examination and additional tests. Treatment focuses on reducing inflammation and managing symptoms using medications. Posterior uveitis affects the back part of the eye and can cause blurred vision, floaters, and visual field defects. Diagnosis and management are challenging due to the complex nature of the posterior segment. Various tests are necessary for diagnosis, and treatment options include corticosteroids, immunosuppressive agents, biologic therapies, and targeted interventions. Intermediate uveitis, or pars planitis, affects the vitreous and peripheral retina. It causes floaters, blurred vision, and sometimes mild discomfort. It is related to diseases like multiple sclerosis. Diagnosis involves exams, tests, and identifying underlying conditions. Treatment involves reducing inflammation, preserving vision, and addressing associated conditions. Penuveitis encompasses the involvement of all layers of the uveal tract and presents a unique challenge in diagnosis and management. Its clinical presentation varies, often combining the signs and symptoms of anterior, posterior, and intermediate uveitis. Penuveitis may be associated with systemic diseases, such as Bechet's disease. A comprehensive evaluation is required, incorporating systemic assessment, ophthalmic examination, various imaging modalities, and laboratory investigations. Effective treatment of penuveitis strives to control inflammation, mitigate complications, and manage underlying conditions. Immunosuppressive agents, biologic therapies, and tailored interventions may be employed based on the severity, systemic associations, and patient-specific factors. Masquerade syndromes refer to instances where uveitis is a clinical manifestation of an underlying malignancy. In such cases, uveitis can masquerade as inflammatory conditions, leading to diagnostic challenges and potential delays in appropriate management. Ocular lymphoma and metastatic carcinoma are among the malignancies that can present with uveitis. Recognition of masquerade syndromes necessitates a high index of suspicion, thorough ophthalmic evaluation, and systemic workup. Collaboration with oncology colleagues is paramount to ensure timely diagnosis and initiation of appropriate therapy, impacting the overall prognosis and management strategy. Infectious uveitis encompasses a broad category of uveitic entities caused by infectious agents, including bacteria, viruses, fungi, and parasites. Diagnosis and management of infectious uveitis require an understanding of epidemiology, clinical manifestations, diagnostic methods, and treatment strategies specific to each etiology. Accurate diagnosis involves a combination of clinical assessment, relevant laboratory investigations, and specialized techniques such as polymerase chain reaction, serology, and culture. Antimicrobial therapy varies based on the identified infectious agent and may include systemic and or localized administration. Collaboration with infectious disease specialists is necessary to optimize treatment outcomes and prevent disease transmission. Non-infectious uveitis is associated with autoimmune diseases and systemic inflammation. Diagnosis includes medical history, physical exam, and ocular investigations. Treatment options target inflammation and complications, utilizing drugs tailored to disease severity and patient factors. This section explores the latest advancements in uveitis treatment. Topics include new drugs targeting specific proteins involved in the disease, innovative drugs that modify the immune system, and localized drug delivery systems for better treatment results and fewer side effects. It is crucial to fully comprehend these new therapies, their mechanisms of action, potential advantages, and associated risks to improve patient care. Clinical trials, collaboration with pharmaceutical companies, and evidence-based medicine are key factors in incorporating these investigational therapies into routine uveitis management protocols. Uveitis can cause several serious complications that can greatly affect vision and quality of life. These include cataracts, glaucoma, macular edema, and retinal detachment. Recognizing, Preventing, detecting, and managing these complications is crucial for maintaining visual acuity and preventing permanent vision loss. Monitoring involves regular eye exams and collaboration with other specialists. Management varies depending on the complication and may involve conservative treatments or surgical interventions. In summary, pediatric uveitis in children requires a multidisciplinary approach to address unique causes and clinical manifestations. 
Diagnosis and treatment involve thorough examination and collaboration with other specialists, aiming to control inflammation and optimize visual outcomes. Uveitis treatment guidelines serve as invaluable tools for healthcare professionals involved in the management of uveitis. These evidence-based recommendations aim to standardize practices, optimize patient care, and improve treatment outcomes. Guidelines cover various aspects, including initial assessment, diagnostic algorithms, treatment modalities resources, monitoring protocols, and indications for specialist referral. Appreciation of international uveitis management guidelines facilitates clinical decision-making, aids in selecting appropriate investigations and therapies, and streamlines patient follow-up. Continuous professional education, staying updated with evolving guidelines, and being critical of the available evidence forms the basis for quality uveitis care. In conclusion, uveitis is a complex condition that involves various aspects such as anatomy, diagnosis, and treatment. It is important for ophthalmologists to collaborate with other specialties and follow evidence-based guidelines for optimal patient care.